Daddy, you've always said so yourself. I have a much better profile than George. I'd look great on a stamp. He wants to stay with the Sahutu tribe in Africa. He's built his own mud huts and everything. He, he doesn't want to come back, Daddy. Look, I'm more than happy to shoulder the burden and be queen. You're what? You're going over there to persuade him to come back? Whatever you want, Daddy. Hi George, it's your little brother Louis here. Um, listen, you're creating a bit of a monitor crisis. Charlotte's already got her eye on the throne. You need to get in a uh, in a private jet, mate. Don't worry about your carbon footprint. I just get back here. Look, if you don't, I'll make sure you have still have a good time. I know some great girls and boys in Soho. You know, every Friday and Saturday night, try not to get engagements then and, you know, we'll kick loose. I understand you're enjoying the freedom in Africa. You need to come back, mate. Can you imagine if Charlotte's queen? Oh, she's so bossy. Look, I even turned myself into a Disney princess for this family. Think of all the hours we spent with George, the finishing school, the table manners, the royal history and etiquette, the contacts, the worldwide connections we've given him over the last few years. He has everything to be the perfect Prince Charming. As I heard from him earlier, he was dancing around a campfire in Sahutu. Something about a, a voodoo doll and yourself. Right, guys, I'm listening, okay? If you can give me one good reason why I should come back and cut ribbons and unveil parks. I'm sitting here overlooking an African vista. Um, today I've helped house and feed families with HIV, I've I've piled a field to provide rice to people that don't have any food. Why would I want to come back and unveil parks and cut ribbons? I just feel I'm far more 